Hi gamers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share with you how to defeat Keeper of Flaming Mountains. I will keep quiet first for you to watch the cutscene. If not, you can just forward to the boss fight. Since when did you start caring for that old bull? Do you not think you can hide your secret wish from me? You wish you could rule this mountain with your brother once we are finished. That is not true, Mother! If that were my wish, why would I bring this master here to hell? <sighs> Words from cunning foxes. You just want to trade my fan for a smile on your brother's face. I... I owe my life to Father. And to your kindness for taking me in. Brother was good to me, but I would never betray my parents for him. Say no more of the fan. We raised the boy. Guess this is what we deserve. But you... Why are you here at this very moment? Rakshasi, I'm not a part of your family, and I'm aware I have no voice in this. But Ping told me the Destined One had arrived. <laughs> the Destined One, who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old bastards must have pulled a muscle coming up with the name. You and I both know who he truly is. When the time comes, your children, your husband, and even this very palace, could all turn to ashes. What do I have to fear from a mere pawn? He's no match for us. He can't even rival the power of my fan. Once the truth is revealed, suddenly he is here. Do you not find it odd? Such a twist of fate. The truth? The truth of what? Who are you talking about? I heard the Destined One had obtained all the other relics. Rakshasi, your situation is grave. Do you not see who mandated his return? Were those relics really bestowed for your good? Perhaps amid these schemes and plots, we've unwittingly become stepping stones for his rebirth. For others, I care not. All along, you are all I care for. I say we should leave together. I vow to treasure you dearly, just like when we're up there. I never thought that one day you'd be the only one I can rely on. I am overwhelmed. Come, sit with me, and tell me what to do. Don't let him, Mother! Don't you see? He is taking advantage of you! You lecher! I called for your help, not your treachery! How, how dare you! A child of a concubine should know better manners. When I first crossed paths with her, your bull of a father was no more than livestock, munching on a patch of grass. Have you no shame? Mother, don't be fooled! Enough of your endless prattle. Hmm. <laughs> now, that's better. Rakshasi, have we not been this close since our time in Tushita Palace? Well, yes, I do miss the old days, too. We were so happy back then. What's in the blazes? No, no tricks, tricks here. here. It's, it's just, just my, my hoof. He deserves to know, to know before we kiss. You will live to repent this! Filthy low life! 
You dare take her form and beguile me! My old friend, wasn't it fun? Have we not been this close since our carnage in the fox den? <laughs> you abhorrent fraud! My candid words were wasted on your foul ears! Candid, my hoof! Your revenants are everywhere! I thought you'd have better lies! Quick on your heels, huh? Well then, boy, let us teach this brazen adulterer a lesson. Vile beast! Your savagery knows no cure! But you will behave once my sourceless water from Toshita drops. As per normal, I will initiate my spirit attack first, then use my Immobile spell and start spin to build up focus. Good thing about this boss fight, Zubaji is also there to help you. This boss will shoot out Light Ops, don't worry it's slow. He will shoot another type of Light Ops in the air, this time it's fast. But don't worry if you never get to avoid it, because the damage is very little. So his attacks are mainly shooting Light Ops when he's on the ground and when he's in the air. I would advise you to conserve your mana, because there is also a second phase to this boss fight. The first phase is actually very easy. When this boss health reaches about 70%, he will summon some warriors to fight you. I will suggest you to use Plug of Many to help you defeat all those warriors. I will suggest you to attack the archers first. Doing so, do be careful because the warriors will be chasing after you. Do remember to use your star spin to avoid being hit by the archers. If I knew, I would have used the Weaver's Needle Vessel. It will work well in this situation. Do take note of the color of these warriors. The white ones are melee attack warriors and the black ones are archers. Not to worry too much about these warriors, it's actually quite easy. The archers arrow actually travel quite slow, so it give you chance to use star spin or to dodge. After you defeated these warriors, the Keeper of Flaming Mountain will come down to fight with you again. Currently, now he is in the air just watching. For this boss fight, I really recommend you to equip your god, rings and soaks that caters to regenerate your mana. If you have curios that increase your max level of mana, do equip them. So the next phase of this boss fight is that he will summon Ma Tenba. Ma Tenba is a horse that you see in every chapter. He's the lonely traveler. I will use my transformation spell to finish him off and also conserve my mana use. Those are nice finishing moves, nicely executed. We are coming to the third phase of this boss fight. This boss will summon a yin yang fish. And unfortunately, Zubaji will not be helping From you because he will be swallowed by the yin yang fish. From land and sky emerges the divide. Now, you shall be feasted upon by my yin yang fish. What a stingy host. Such a meager fish. Hardly enough for a platter. is almost similar to the Keeper of Living Mountains but the only difference is that he will be swimming around and trying to hit you with his tail. So the chance of attacking this boss is when it swims around then after that when he tries to hit you with his tail it will stop for a while to rest so that is your chance to perform some light attack and heavy attacks. For this boss fight I really recommend you to just be patient. The fish will stop to rest and that's your chance to attack him. I noticed for this boss fight, when you use pillar stance, it's easier to defeat him. 
when you're perched on top of your staff, the fish won't be able to attack you. The chances are low, but not zero. So, do time your attacks wisely. So, sum up for this phase of boss fight, I will use my immobilized spell, Star Spin, Cloud Step to avoid you getting hit, and also charge my heavy attack and not forgetting spirit attack and when your mana is slow just use your god to regenerate your mana I will keep quiet for now for you to enjoy watching the rest of the video Do take note of this fish attack. Once you get hit and it's very hard for you to actually avoid or dodge, you should save your cloud step for that moment. But it's very challenging to predict this fish because the attacks are not very synchronized. One more thing I forget to mention earlier is that you can't use Ring of Fire for this arena because it's all covered with water. Alright, that's about it for this video. If you enjoy watching the video or learn something from this video, do give me a like and subscribe to my channel so that I can create more videos like this for you. See you again soon. The turmoil you witness is but a ripple caused by a drop from above. <laughs> Already. Bad news after a good nap. <laughs> He's gone too far from a furnished servant. A decent lad he was. <sighs> decent until ruined by brother Wukong. Then destiny carried him further to fall for the wrong woman. <laughs> <sighs> You, go up this way. Check if any way leads up. I'll go look around. The owner might be gone, but her treasure might still be there.